Hello, and welcome to the stream. Today, we're not playing a game. We're doing the opposite, actually. We're gonna make a game. Uh, so this is going to be, like, the third time I've ever developed on a stream, and one of them I was going through design processes and going through ideas, so that worked really well. Another time I was trying the program, it went horribly, and we're gonna do the programming thing again. The blurriness, just on your end though. That bulb you had on the end. Oh, great. Well, I may need to turn up the bitrate on this. Roguelike attempt? Uh, something like that. Uh, let's see, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Hi! Your hands are doing things. They're cold. Yeah, your hands are cold. They're not that cold though. This me just, uh... What are we gonna do? <laughs> uh, you know what, let's just open up the title screen. We'll go over here, and you can't see the title screen at all because it's so big. So, this is the best title screen ever made. It's a, a great title screen, right? Here's the name of the game. Uh, let's see. I think I need to work on AI today. Let's go start. Uh, I want to make a sword. Yes, I'm gonna make a sword out of wood. It seems to work pretty well. I got a sword. It swings really slowly. I just adjusted this guy last night, so he's. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nope. They gotta do that. Back to our level. Mobile quality. Nope. Nope. Don't rename it. Open it up. Uh, player. How big is your hitbox? Kinda big. About 1.5 and we'll drop this down. So yeah, that looks about right. I think your default weapon is a bow. Yeah. Crud bow. Yep, this is looking good. Did you pay someone to make that for you? No, uh, I'm working on this with Tatsu. Tatsu made the level in the background, and I've made the character here. Hey, guy. That guy, too. They don't do any... Whoa. You're supposed to be able to shoot them, and they turn into slime balls. Yeah, uh, apparently arrows go through walls, because this guy's gone, and I can't pick this up now. I didn't give you $10 for you to waste on such a great game screen. <laughs> You're making a joke about the title screen? No. Yeah, you mean this one? Here, that should work better. Oop. This one? Yeah. I paid somebody $500,000. Would there be a record on Twitch? And there will probably be a record on Twitch for a little while. Uh, yeah. Let me make sure I can make a bow from here out of all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, that looks good. I confirm. Yep, exactly as I made it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great later. I think I need to resprite the bow, because I'm gonna have it go in front of the player, and yeah, they actually need to have animations and things. Though, like, this guy isn't done. I just kind of threw him in last night. That I need to work on the sprite. Um, what was he doing? I think my keyboard has a scratch post. Your keyboard makes a great scratch post. I came back and there was random stuff everywhere. You're using Google Help. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, if anything, I might upload this stream to YouTube so I can have it for later. But I don't think I'm... I'm like specifically recording it, if that's what you're asking. Especially since I don't know how well it's going to go. Uh, let's see... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, these guys just sit here. Okay, I think the whole goal was to have a room where you could dance around in, then a couple of guys, add some terrain. We get over here and we can start upgrading stuff. Might need to work on that. Get some skeletons so they can use your own weapons against you. More terrain, they can fire over these. And here's a boss at the end. Wait, what's the hitbox on these skeletons? Probably 0.5? Wait, 
So if I click on this guy over here, yeah, that's a really small hitbox. Okay, how about 1.5? Better? Much better! Lack of animations. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. I actually have the thing building full tools. Speaking of lack of animations, these things don't move at all. I actually don't know how to do basic game AI anymore. Well, anywho. This is just an example level. You wasn't expecting development stream? Uh, I wasn't expecting on doing a development stream either, but I really wanted to do game development and I said I would stream today. Will you keep this stream on Twitch? Okay, there's going to be a VOD of this stream up for two weeks. At the very least, if you want to watch it later, you can go grab it within the next two weeks and it should be there. If you're starting a game with pretty animations, you probably have your priorities wrong. True! Because my player... did I even save them? That's a skeleton. They say... nope. That was the previous player. The player used to look really bad. You know what? I, it was this guy right here. It's like, yeah, I'm a fighter pilot. Now, uh, this one isn't done completely yet. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Though I need to actually get something done over here. So let's bring up Visual Studio. Uh, I'm not working on tools today. Might work on inventory, so I'll leave that up. As well as the controls. Nudes. Oh yeah, nudes. Very much nude. Uh, no, I don't need that. Uh, probably don't need Steam either, but I'll leave it up. Okay. Well, let's just grab this guy over here. You got the same problem. Actually, yeah, you got the same problem. Your hitbox is all wonky. I'll work on the hitbox later. You get a full size hitbox for now. Let's grab you, pull you over here. And. Should probably set up the. Nah, like, we'll just leave it like this. Now, what do we want you to do? I'm probably gonna going to do a fair bit of research on the stream. Like, I don't know how to do this. Google, help me! Uh... Yeah. Wait, what do you have over here, enemy? Reload that. Always likes to reload. You extend actor. Actor. Probably need to have a more specific enemy class than just enemy. Wanna add single limbo? <laughs> no, not yet. Twitchypedia can help you solve this too. Twitchypedia does not help when I need to do complex tasks. Do you Skeletons have the AI. Now yeah, let's just make a new one over here. I'm gonna call you uh, slime movement. Might change this to something else later. Give this guy slime movement. Nope. Come on. I guess we need to do it to that one. Okay, and how am I moving the player? Okay, I made a new file. It has to save the thing. Update. Awake. Move player. Oh, I have a controller. A character controller that does that. Yeah, okay. Well, we can give you the character controller. I think it's this one. I need to 
digest anything over here. Eh, maybe not. Give you some more vertical and rays. What about setting up a state machine for the enemy that is two seconds idle, two seconds moving in, one second, then idle again? Sounds pretty good, actually. But first, let's make sure that they actually move. Let's copy this block of movement here. Shove it in there. Uh, velocity controller. Velocity. And then we grab the controller here and move speed. Probably no acceleration. We don't need them to be moving like the player do whoop, does right now. And instead of move, wait, <laughs> is this gonna move with me? Er, oh, you don't have any move speed. So two. Yep, it moves in exactly the same way that I do. Oh, I see what the acceleration is for. Without acceleration, it kind of moves really fuzzy. Okay. But we just put it 50. Call it good. Right, he doesn't have a movement speed again. Let's set that over here. You go super fast. Yeah, there we go. Wait, whoa, um. <laughs> yeah, you should get stuck on the walls. It's the whole reason we have this mask over here. You have ground. Ground. This is funny. Were you going to say it moves like poop? Yep. Okay, so now it gets stuck in the walls. And also, if it touches me, nothing happens. That's going to be great. We'll set that up later. But for now... Okay. Does not need to move that fast. Let's put your movement speed at 3. Signalum isn't even a native material. Nope. For some reason, it looks kind of like a green trash bag with a face. I was thinking about redoing the top part of the slime, because it looks kind of leafy. This slime is supposed to go in the forest. Obviously, we don't have a forest yet, so we're in the dungeon. Okay. We don't want it to move with the player. What are you going to do? Well, let's grab another event, or another... Yeah, it's an event in Unity. Got a fixed update. That goes 60 times per second rather than every frame. We probably want to keep moving with the frames so that the character moves smoothly. Hmm... I don't need this for initialization anymore. Probably separate these. State machine. 2D tinkers. Oh yeah. <laughs> I actually wasn't planning on showing this off before, but this is what we've got. I'll put countdown here. If you're moving, then we'll have you moving. If not, then we won't. One bit tinkers, lol. Tinker spans across the universe and breaks dimensions. No, needs two equals for that. If moving. 
actually, we don't need that. It's just moving equals not moving. If not moving, then actually, if moving, we need to pick a random direction here. And this all needs to end up inside a block for moving. Have a good stream. Yeah, have fun, Topic Blom. Good luck with your own development. Move interaction. If moving, then movement direction equals math f dot random. No wait, it's a rand. Uh, what's the random thing? Okay, time for research. I need to know what the random function is in C sharp. Random class. Rand okay, we need a new instance of a random class. Uh, random. Nah, we'll go with random random. Random equals new random. Can't just call the random class on its own. And I think it's next new. No? Okay, what else we got in here? Int 32. We can put a seed in there. Okay, equals finalize next. Returns a non negative random integer. Returns a random integer that is within a specified range. That might work. Wait, which random? Are you wanting? I think there's a Unity random. Which one's this in? .NET Framework. It's in System. Whoops. There we go. System dot random. Is problem with namespaces is or just using directives is it looks for the namespace that you've got up there. So we want a specific system random rather than the unity random. Negative one to one. The exclusive upper bound of the random returned. Max value must be greater than... Okay, let me make sure that this is how I think it works. Okay, so two integers. Min value, inclusive, exclusive. Okay, so maybe I need one to two, or negative one to two. There we go. Input dot get access raw. Real suspicious there. Okay, the way Unity has the way that it gets input is. It has an axis, like on a controller. You have up, down, left, right, uh, Z, X, whatever you want it to be. Uh, Tatsu's got it already. Random, random equals new random, rand.next. Except there's so many different values inside the random class. Uh. Countdown. So we'll start off at false. Let's put it less than or equal to zero. Um, let's put this up here. Countdown count. That's a great thing for that. 
right? <laughs> we can just decide 120 up here. So that should switch every two seconds. Let's go back to Unity. You're flying anytime soon. Yep. You went up. Uh. Well, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Not quite what I expected. But yeah, let's just follow this for a little bit and observe its behavior. Is it going to be available via VR? Probably not. Yeah, this isn't bad. It's a little bit fast. You can actually adjust that. <coughs> also, if it's touching a wall, I think I need it to move away from the wall. Whoop. Oh yeah, I have attack button on left click. Because I was thinking about having primary and secondary, like click and then another thing over here. <laughs> okay, I've got an idea here. That's a layer mask. Why don't we create an invisible object? We can attach it to the room later, but... Uh, I need box collider. And we'll put it on a new layer. Enemies pick up, scround. Just put it on movement for now. And we'll put this here. So we'll just restrict the slime. We'll just restrict this guy to the this room by not letting him move past this wall. As for this, we probably just want this to trigger on the player and not on the ground. Because that's an event thing. And we'll call this hallway. Hallways. Hallway block. You come. Whoop. Hey, whoa, whoa. Scale is three and two. I don't need it to scale that way. Six. Might be a little bit off. Yeah, just get in there. So if I put this in here... Or... Er, you know, it would help if you actually went the right, the right way for this. But Go that way. Yeah. Ah, oh, no! No! Well, you went through the wall! Oh. I'm a derp. There you go. Now you can't go through the wall. It looks fun to make things in Unity. It is pretty fun to make things in Unity. Unity is a pretty good game maker, and it's quite visually oriented in the way that it does things. So you can have somebody who's just like, yeah, I'm gonna set up this, and I'm gonna move this thing around, and I'm gonna put this together. Then you get somebody else doing something like this. But like, okay, I need to control all the behavior, I need to make the script that controls everything behind, like I can be the engineer, and I can be the designer. It's great, actually. You love Don't Destroy Unload? Oh yeah. The funny thing about Don't Destroy Unload, if we go back to the title here, it's like, this is the scene. I have the title scene right there. Nothing in here. But now we have 
Don't Destroy Unload, which holds like the entire tool system in here. It's got the player's inventory, so we can just throw that in there. We've got the sound manager. I don't know why it's got a uh, position. It doesn't really matter where it's at. Maybe the prefab here? Here. Get over there. Nice. But while I'm at it, let's make a, a sword out of a bunch of different parts. <laughs> oh, it looks so silly. Oop. Hey! Get, stop doing that! Here. Right. Okay. The slime's still moving pretty fast. How do you get the patterns for the tools? The patterns are going to be unlocked at the beginning of the game. Like, you're gonna start up the game, you're gonna get into the tool creation setting. We're probably gonna put a character in there. I want multiple characters for this. And then... Well... You get to go a bit nuts with it. Like, you've got the tool already. You don't actually go through the tool selection screen, so the default weapon right now is a bow. Be fun getting a pickaxe in here. You really don't mess with anything, do you? You know what? Your trigger mask can be everything. So, yeah, there we go. Are you going to keep the title screen you have now? I have a sketch for a title screen. It's gonna be better than that, but it should mostly look about that. The default tool is above. Oh yeah, it's on my face! <laughs> have you set the hitbox for the slimes? Yeah, but this particular one is different. So I have a, a character controller that does things for them, and it's like, well, what do you want to interact with? This guy interacts with everything. The player is set up so that... Hmm. I might need to add more to this, but they do things when they hit things on the ground, and not their sword. Will you accept placeholder title screens? Sure. Okay, well, if somebody wants to make a placeholder for this... This is what we've got right now. Uh, what's my sketch got on it? I've actually been sketching out a fair amount of things. Let's see, character designs... This page I need to rip out... Should have been a crotch shot for the arrows. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So I have the words in rather large font. It looks rather similar to this, I didn't put in much. But on the left and the right of the dungeon, there's like a stone brazier that you would have on the wall with some fire coming out of it, like a torch. So if you want to make some stuff, like you want to make a, an image that I can throw in here? Oh! Here, uh, I'm gonna give you some dimensions. Uh, da -da -da -da, canvas title, there we go. We're doing this at a particular pixel scaling di dimension. The size of the screen is 640 wide by 360 tall. The title screen might be able to break that because it's the title screen, but that's the resolution we're doing here. This is where a webcam would be helpful for a second. Nah, no webcam. Just development. Hi. <laughs> ah! Title screen riot. Okay, let's go back to the level. 
I'm actually gonna make this public so I can mess with it inside the editor instead of having to go back and recompile it every time. So you countdown count. Your movement speed is three. Let's put you at two and put this at twenty and see what happens. Wait, 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 I crud I need this. Otherwise you're always gonna move to the right. The webcam would be useful for showing my sketch. Gotcha. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of silly. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's a great slime! Yeah! Oh, check that out. Maybe I can actually mess with that. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Instead of having it go from moving to not moving, let's put this up here, and it'll always be moving. Then we put it like, yeah. Put your movement speed a little bit lower. Just kind of like, hi, how you doing? Push the tempo. The movement type is more a bug type in your opinion. Do you like my title screen? Ah, uh, let's see this. Ah, uh -huh, Tinker's Construct. No, this is Tinker's Dungeon. You know, that movement type doesn't really have any in-game consequence. It's like, yeah, you're just sitting right here. Blank. I'm gonna shoot you and hit you. Let's try this again. Might make more sense... <laughs> if it does something like that. Whoop. Uh, I need to have this guy selected. Why do you stop every so often? Oh! It actually hits zero and zero. Okay, let's get a bit of recursion in here. Generate random numbers. Uh, I mean, I void on here. I don't want you to be stopping at all. If x is zero, and, whoops, <laughs> I always want to put an and, the word I need to put a new name on this. Uh, generate random numbers. Actually, let's call you random movement. So it'll just keep calling itself until it doesn't hit zero. There needs to be a slime goddess. Hmm? You already have the big one. No, I don't. It's right here. Oh. Well, then borrow that one too. Okay. Okay, so everything should be contained in here, and you will never stop moving. Yeah, there we go. 
Actually, that's kind of interesting. So long as we change direction after you hit the wall. Yeah, it looks like after we hit a wall, we need to detect where the wall is, and then decide to move away from it. It's like it should bounce off the wall. So the theme for the game is slimy goodness? No, not slimy goodness. Wait. Here. If the theme of the game was slimy goodness, then coming all the way over here, you know, I just realized I have a horrible placeholder texture for this. If it, the theme of the game was slimy goodness, then how would you have skeletons doing their thing? AI development with MDIO. Oh yeah. <laughs> And these- oh! I can walk through the rocks! What layer are the rocks on? Rock. So, on uh, layer enemies. I have you on the, the enemy- No. Well. Let's make sure this actually works. You get over here. There we go. Now smacking into the rocks. They look like coal. They do look a lot like coal. The rocks are a placeholder right now. As is this, and... You know, this is just a big skeleton. <laughs> wow, that's a super hard speed paint. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm actually liking the way that this slime is ending up. So... Let's take you and replace the prefect. No? Oh, right. You have to drag it from over there. But then we're gonna need more of these hallway blocks. And this is two by three. And we'll get that properly aligned later. But if I come over here... Yeah, there... Oh. That's interesting. Why are they all moving exactly the same? Slime ritual. I also don't really like how fast they're moving. Trying to sacrifice him, Dio. <laughs> Let's just start you over here. That's probably too slow. And seriously, they're all moving exactly the same. Let's put this on 1.2 for now. I might want to add some random variants through... Or some variants through a random offset or something. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. It's like, but I'm already getting a random number here. It's probably using the same seed for each one. Hmm. Sorry, because it takes some random integer to decide. <laughs> There's never too much randomness.
they all generate their own random class. But they all have exactly the same seed, so they're going to be spewing the same random order. Okay. So, one way I could fix this is to have another class outside that's holding this. Do I have the manager in here? No. Well, I can always add another script out here. Don't need all these. Is it just you or is the stream flickering a little? Oh? Does it flicker whenever I change? Or is it flickering? Like, what do you mean by flickering? You can add entity ID and Q to seed. I don't know what that means. Is that a random number generator class here? If I start up the thing here, is it going to add the manager? Yeah. Okay. So, let's grab this. It's only flickering in the editor. That's interesting. Okay, so instead of having your own random class, this thing is going to have that. And I only want one copy of this, so... Wait, what? Is there another one? System Security Cryptography. Is it, uh... Then I can't name that this. Not if there's gonna be a security one named that. Okay, we're going to call this Random Helper. There we go. I don't want this running at all. Actually, I can just make this static as well. Get ran. Ah, the heck with it. <sighs> oh. I may stop the stream suddenly at some point. Because if I get tired and... Well, my body doesn't like that, so... Just... There we go. Second try at the title screen. Tinker's Dungeon. You know, that's not terrible. I'm going to say that Tinker's Dungeon does not have the apostrophe on it, though. Like, uh... Cop comment this out real quick. Tinker's Construct has an apostrophe right here. This thing. Tinker's Dungeon is probably not going to have that, even though from proper English it should. This is going to be a title and titles can break rules of proper English. Yeah, let's just go with that. No random. Random helper dot random. 
I'll probably use this class for a bunch of other things later. It's not called random number generator anymore. Eh. Random helper. Come on. Oh, it stuck up on there. Oh, fine. If you have visual stupidodian tab out of the window, it begins to flicker. You have the flickering too. Only from time to time, though. Okay. You have a queue of mobs to check and decide which way to move, so you add mobs number to the formula to get different results for different mobs. Ah. Well, this works too. And this works a fair bit better than just instantiating a whole bunch of random classes. I think what I might do in here is... We'll have a seed. Here. This is actually working out decently well. I don't know why you still stop sometimes. What's up with this? Slime movement. Oh, I see. This doesn't actually stop it. Let's drop this in here. And then... We won't have it continue on after that. Because... I was thinking it would just assign X and Y over and over and over again, but no. It assigns it once, then it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Then, as each of them pulls out, it assigns it in reverse order of the way that it goes. So, the deepest one, like, uh, random movement goes to random movement, and then so on and so forth, and as it unpacks, each of these assigns it again and again and again, until it gets back up to here. There we go. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, you got it. Yep. Oh, wait, where did my random helper class go? Random. Yeah. Let's grab another one of these, so I'll have it for later. Um, level seed. So this one's going to be used for particular events that need to go along with the world. Like, if you have a boss and a boss drops a specific item, then that particular seed will always make the same thing show up on the same run for the way the game goes. Let me add a, a note here. Use this for... I don't need initialization here. Use this for... Important random events on the set. To duplicate results. There we go. Actually, is this acceptable for slimes? We go over here. Like that, da 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 da. I probably need to restrict the camera to the room itself. You find that every time you add a to do, you just lie to yourself? Oh, no, this is not acceptable as it is. Because once they hit the wall, we need to prevent them from hitting the wall, and we want them to move away from the wall for a little bit. Yeah. So let's see. Go back to this. We minimize the stream software. So, when we hit a wall... Uh, 
Where do we get that from? You were thinking a state machine with a state ID? <laughs> you mean zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth? Can you make it, like, if it hit the wall, go double the amount away from it? I could. That would be one way to solve it. But we don't want it to be predictable where it hits the wall and it always goes in the same direction. A state enum. Well, the entire computer is a finite state machine. It only has so many things that it can do. And you can have the state be very complicated, like we've got all of these. The state machine part is actually this. Let's rename this to uh, random movement related. Uh, I need a short break. I'm out of water. Shouldn't take too long. Here's a torch. Oh. Ah. Uh, I need to add the torch to this. Torch. Where's my torch? There we go. I'll put that right there. I'll make it big too. Yeah. Take up the whole screen over here. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'd like to say a couple of things about this. The first is that uh, despite having the compulsion to talk about what I'm doing, I still feel like I'm getting stuff done. The second, I already know that I'm not getting as much done as I would normally because I'm spending time trying to talk about what I'm doing. I'm also spending some time thinking, so I'm not losing that much time. I don't want to do this a whole lot, but maybe every so often I'll pull up a development stream and we'll see how the game's going. Okay, what else? Uh, when you hit the wall, we need you to... Ah. My eye's doing funny things. In here. Let me see if these still work with the character controller. Don't need to do that. This is a slime, not a zone. Something is hit slime. Is this going to be an entirely separate game? Separate game from what? Well, hello there. Hey guys. Yeah, that doesn't trigger at all. Ooh. Because it doesn't actually do this. There were pieces of a character controller that I ripped out because there were things that weren't necessary. But as I replace more and more of the parts, I can see why they were necessary to do the things that they were doing. Let's see... In here... Like, this just makes it really easy to do the thing. I've also learned a fair bit about this. Move vertically... Like... 
it's it was set up as a platforming one, so you'd have handling slope movement, and it would only be straight down. You just use a Tinker's Construct tile title. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, this is not Tinker's Construct, this is Tinker's Dungeon. And Tinker's Dungeon is its own game. Thoughts? What do we have here? Tinker's Dungeon. <laughs> oh, wow. I like the other one better, with the very pixelated Tinker's Dungeon in it. Even though it looks a little bit strange. This one! It's green slime, and oh boy! <laughs> Honestly, I would rather have two different uh, files if you're going to do a title screen. One so I can put the text itself in there, and one for the background. Actually, you need to see it before you do that, and. You thought it was slimy theme? No, it's not a slimy theme. We are... Uh, you know what? To dispel all possible things about it being a slimy theme, I'm gonna shove this guy up in here, even though he's not doing anything. Yeah, slimy thing. It's totally a slimy theme, right? Oh, he, he's in front of... Yeah! Totally a slimy theme! <laughs> You can tell it's a skeleton for this character, right? <laughs> Looks like a Tinker's Dungeon theme. Now, the theme is that we've got tools and we're gonna run around in the dungeon and... ...kill things. Anywho. Well, where's my character controller? You don't need to see that. Side projects. Scripts. Hector. This was the original one. It was made by somebody called Prime31. It has some uh, requirements or some assumptions built into it about the way it does things. Did I build in some of those assumptions? No, I didn't. It's like, no, we can do this however we want. Mono behavior. You know, it does have a requirement for those. I was thinking I would replace the box collider later, because I might want something other than a box collider. And I don't really care about one-way platforms here. Where's that event? Events, properties, and fields. Okay. That would be up in here. Don't didn't copy that. I probably need to put a note in here about the original author and how it's been adapted. So, pixelesque type of font? Sure. Okay, so we got that. Uh, internal types, events, properties, and fields. Because the events don't actually fire. Because this thing handles it, and it's like, well, let's put our characters right up next to it. But then. We still want it to trigger, so this thing, instead of having Unity let it trigger, it puts it up right next to it and then fires the same events. You continue with Minecraft? I haven't been modding Minecraft for at least a year and a half. I've given all of my projects up to other people who should be relatively competent in the way that they do things. Whoop. Oh wait, maybe this is already here. Platform mask, region mono behavior. I don't like that. We'll put it up here. Because these are event related. These are all apart. Wait. 
Is there only three? Enter, stay, and exit. Okay, where is the rest of it? It's inside move. Okay. There we go. Oh, I do have a copy of this in here. Oh, not modding just in general, you mean? Gen- oh, okay. Uh, Minecraft. You talk- I like playing Minecraft. I have a sort of a, a love apathy situation with Minecraft where sometimes I like it a lot. I go and play it for quite a while. The rest of the time I'm like, eh. I don't want to play it right now. Let's play Terraria. <laughs> Glad to see you back sharing your- Ideas with the Minecraft world again? Yeah, totally. Very much Minecraft. Totally Minecraft. Has to be Minecraft. It's not like I'm shooting slimes inside a dungeon or anything. <laughs> yeah, nope. Not at all. Okay, how did we actually add the events here? Because we want to actually get these events. Side project. Wait, where is my side project? That's not the my side project folder. Wait, is that actually in here? Did I still have a copy of it? No. Oh wait, that is my- I have a- Okay, I gotcha. I have a thing over there for something else. Let's see. Is this for another game I was working on? Bring up chat here. There's a texture pack, for sure! You like Terraria so much you change Minecraft in the 2D! <laughs> Looks like you got confused somewhere. It could be that you're- Wait, did the music stop? It's just really quiet. I bumped uh, the volume control on my microphone. Of course I did. Oh. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't need all this stuff. There we go. Wait, did I copy paste? Hang on. The... Okay, so... No, that's fine. And these are fine as well. I thought I was copy pasting a lowercase one onto an uppercase one. Hi. Did you... Want to share this on the stream? Or do you want me to pause for a bit? That looks like a good working thing that I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a good working thing. Now, go make the thing, because. Uh, so this looks like. Yes. I could probably change this up a bit later, but. Maybe make it a little bit more, like, interesting pathways. But as a- And that's the thing around the edge. Yeah. But as for a fully featured thing, yes. Go make a large okay. version. I want to do the thing later. So we'll play this later, okay. Yes. Movement state is determined by a string, and so is the animation state. Uh, inside this? Yeah. My side project was about learning things there. Yeah. <sighs> Wait. Now this is the bit that I wanted to copy. Listen to some events for illustration purposes. Wait. No. What part is this in? It's in awake.
Yep. Yep. On controller collider. Probably just need the enter. Okay. So that just has whatever I want to put in there. I don't need all of these for now. I just need to make sure that it works. Oh, what are we doing? An expected symbol. Oh, I didn't quite comment out all of it. You would kindly suggest an enum. For animation state on my side project? Yeah. I was going to switch to an enum at some point in the future. Because it was getting too complicated. <laughs> Tinker's Dungeon. At first you're like, oh, it's so happy. But then... <laughs> Um, not set. Oh, I'm smart. Okay, so I'm trying to assign this before I do that. Probably needs to be put in awake anyway. I'll just grab this, put it there, call it good, press the start button. Now, somebody touch a wall. I said touch the wall. What? Okay. Uh, now it's not working. Ooh, that's a bit frustrating. This is actually trigger enter event, right? Yes. Wait. So where do I actually trigger these? And trigger enter 2D. Oh, I see why I didn't have those. it just sends out the event yeah no I don't actually need these I just need to make sure that this goes there and this actually fires er event 2D. Oh, uh, well, I tend to do game development better later at night than in the day. <clears throat> you know, the trying to stream and trying to do this at the same time is actually making my brain fry a bit. So, I'm gonna just stop the stream here. I'm gonna work on this the rest of the day, pick it up a bit, uh, put it down, I actually make good code over here rather than the crud code I was learning about, and we'll call it good. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time.